Hello and welcome to video 3 on the LTP portfolio. In this video, I'd like to show you how to put an artifact on a page in your portfolio and I'd like to show you how to rearrange the order of um, artifacts on a certain page. Let's go to Blackboard and see how it all works. In Blackboard, click on the Content System tab then click on My Portfolios in the menu on the left-hand side and select My Portfolios. Find the title of the portfolio where you'd like to add artifacts to pages and click on the arrow to the right of the title. Now select Edit. You'll get the portfolio menu on the screen. Select Build the Portfolio. This will take you to all the different pages of the template um, that you used when creating your portfolio. There's a description on each uh, page where you can see what are you supposed to add to this particular page. When you want to add an artifact to a certain page, you actually have two options. With the button Create New Artifact, you can at the same time create an artifact and have it put on the particular page. If you want to add an artifact that you've already produced, click the Browse button. Now you're able to search for specific artifacts among the list of artifacts that you've created. You can search for specific names of artifacts you have created or words from the description you typed in when you created an artifact. Note also that the search words you type in could be the start of the name or the description. It could be words somewhere in the name or in the description of your artifact or it could be precise matches. I usually prefer to search for name and contains that usually give uh, the best results. So I'll search for the portrait that I've made. Once I type in the search word, I click go and I now get a list of the artifacts I've created uh, named portrait or what, where the word portrait is part of the name. And I can then choose the portrait I want displayed on my portfolio and then I click Submit. In this way I can go on if I want to add an artifact to the Teaching CV page. I scroll down to this particular page and I choose Browse. I can now type in Teaching as a search word and click Go. And as you can see, I've actually made several artifacts where teaching is part of the artifact name. So I can click off those that apply to the teaching CV. So I've selected three and I can then click submit. As you can see, all three of them have been put on this particular page. So in this way, you can continue to add artifacts to the different pages of your portfolio. Once you've put on artifacts, remember to scroll down and click Submit at the bottom of the page. This is very important. Don't use the arrows in the browser to go back and forth. Don't go away from this page without clicking Submit. When you click Submit, the artifacts are saved to the pages of your portfolio. If you want to change the order of the artifacts on a page in your portfolio, go back to build the portfolio, then find the relevant page. Let's say we want to change the order of the three artifacts that we've put on the teaching CV page. Then I click on the arrow to the right of the page title, teaching CV, and I choose edit. When I scroll down, I can see the three artifacts and I can click on the arrow displaying to the left of the page. 
and then I can move that page up or down on the page. But I do want the teaching CV to be the first page and I do want the teaching experience to be page number two. But rearrange the pages as is most relevant to your content. Once you're done, click Submit. And then you can check whether your artifacts appear in the right order. Scroll down and click Submit to save the results. Once you've put artifacts on your portfolio pages, you can click View Portfolio to see the results. I've now put my portrait on the portrait page and when I click on to the teaching CV page, I can see the three different artifacts, the introduction to the teaching CV, teaching experience and teaching sessions with supervision that I've put on this particular page. Or oh. That's it for video three on how to put artifacts on your portfolio. I'll return with video four that will show you how to share your portfolio with your supervisors and uh, your colleague supervision group if you want to do that. Bye for now.